All right, team, in the last video, we talked about how to pack a rucksack. Now let's talk about how to pack an assault pack. Now, as I mentioned previously, the most important things that you're gonna carry on any mission are water and ammo. So for the assault pack that I have here, I have bottle pockets on either side that can carry at least a one quart canteen or Nalgene bottle. And then on the inside, I have a Camelback that can carry three quarts. Now, the Army Issue Assault Pack, this can be set up in a similar fashion if you attach some wooden quart canteen pouches to either side and then put your Camelback on the inside. So, that'll give you five quarts of water carried in the Assault Pack, which is great, and then you can add your ammo to that. Ammo being any of your linked ammo, uh, extra magazines for your assigned weapon, or mortar rounds uh, if you're carrying them for your mortar team. Okay, all right, so just as before, we wanna make sure that those items that are heavy and dense, they're high up in the assault pack and close to our back. So in this case, I've got my Camelback high up in the assault pack and close to my back. That's gonna be one of my heaviest items. Anything that's um, less dense and less heavy, I'm gonna put that down at the bottom here. So some items that I'm definitely gonna carry with me in my assault pack, I'm gonna carry a Gore-Tex jacket or a wet weather top something that I can throw on in the event that it gets a little wet and cold outside. I've got a poncho. That's again, gonna be for the assault pack or to build a poncho raft or to make a temporary shelter so I can do some planning or sleeping. So I'm gonna throw that in there. You may also consider carrying a whoopee if you plan on being out uh, for an extended period of time. All right, now, depending on your mission, you're gonna carry some additional items in this assault pack. So additional water, additional ammo. Um, consider if I'm on a natal litter team, I may wanna carry a soft litter or a Skedco, and I may wanna carry a CLS bag, and I can throw that in there as well. Any other signaling devices that you might need, like a VS-17 panel or, um, or a strobe or anything like that, I can throw that in here as well. And then if I'm on an EBW and search team, I'm gonna carry my EBW bags. I'm gonna carry some flex cuffs. I'm gonna carry cameras to take my, my photos of e EBWs or, or during my sensitive site exploitation. Okay, so let's pack some of this up here. I've got a soft litter and I've got a CLS bag and VS-17 pan. Okay, just like we did with the rucksack, I have a wet weather bag. This one is uh, aftermarket, but you can use your army issue wet weather bag. All right. Again, this is gonna make sure that one, everything stays dry, bugs stay out of it. And, uh, or if you're in a desert environment, dust stays out of your gear, which is great. And then additionally, it provides you some buoyancy if you find yourself in the water uh, with your rucksack doing a, a river crossing or something like that. Okay. You could also throw a bandolier of ammo on top, which is what I usually carry as a leader. I'm most often gonna be working radio and a map, uh, maneuvering forces. So I'm gonna carry some additional magazines, which I can then use during our consolidate and reorganize um, to move the ammo around the platoon or company or unit. Okay, so I put all that inside. this up okay now I have some extra pockets here on this assault pack just like you do on the army issue so in the front of your assault pack you're going to want to make sure you carry any mission essential items that you need quick access to additionally you may want to carry um, an extra t-shirt and socks something like that in case you get wet uh, and you're stopping for a moment you can change those out but up here I can carry my other signaling devices that I need, like a strobe or a headlamp, spare batteries for your lights, lasers, nods, uh, or radio, anything of that nature. All right, and then if you're using this also for physical fitness, if you're out doing a ruck march with assault packs, uh, you're at air assault school or something like that, uh, you can throw a reflective belt around the outside of your assault pack to stay safe out there uh, as you're getting your exercise. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to shoot them to me. 
Otherwise, that's going to be it.